Welcome to Job and Domo's tutorial. Today we are discussing a topic in computer organization and architecture. The topic is execution of a complete instruction. So, what are the steps uh, to execute an instruction? What are the control sequence that we are discussing today? So, in all of my videos, I am concentrating engineering computer science students in the exam point of view. So, uh, when the students see this video, they can easily study this particular topic and they can go for exam. So let's listen uh, how to execute an instruction. So as an example, I took uh, add, adding two numbers, adding two op lines. So as we know, we know R3 and R1 are our processor register. So let's see our architecture of a single bus architecture of processor. So we can see the program counter. So program counter always stores address of the next instruction to be executed. So program counter always contain the address. So what instruction we want to execute? The address will always contain in program counter. And MIR contains the address register. MDR, all the data we are storing in MDR register. Instruction register, all our instruction is uh, storing in instruction register. And uh, this is our general purpose register R0, R1, R2, R3, then up to R and minus 1. One temporary register is there, Y register is there, multiplexer, two input multiplexer, uh, one input is 4, constant 4, another input is uh, output of Y register and ALU, output of ALU is always storing in Z register. So this is our architecture based on this. Let's see how to work on this uh, instruction. So, how to execute this instruction? The first step is fetch the instruction from the memory. So, this instruction is stored in memory. I will show you one uh, uh, diagram of uh, memory. Just see here. So, this is my instruction. It is stored in my uh, main memory. So, this is the address location. Assume this is the address location it is stored. And another location here, 1000, it contains some uh, value 20. So, let's see what happened here. So, uh, where this address I can get, I can get this address from my PC, that is our program counter contain the address. So, I am taking the uh, program counter address, then I am taking the data from the memory, that is what called the fetch the instruction from the memory. So, after taking this uh, instruction from the memory, I will store this uh, instruction in IR register because currently executing instruction storing in IR register. Next, fetch the first operand from the memory. So, this is my first operand. So, uh, this parenthesis indicates it is a pointer. So, pointer means what? Assume R3 contain an address 1000. So, R3 not contain some data, R3 contain some address location. So, when we are seeing that address location in the main memory, we can see some data is there that is 20 in our example. So, that 20 we are adding with R1 register. So, R1 register in our figure, it is comes here, R1, R3 comes here, R1 contains some data. For example, R1 contains 30. So, this 20 should add with 30 and the result will store in R1. Now, so, so we should uh, fetch the first operand R3 that is in the main memory. We should take that data and then perform the addition. Then the result should store in R1 register. So how to write the control sequence for that? So I am writing like this. Uh, where address of this uh, instruction is stored? It is in PC. So program counter out. I am taking the address from program counter from here. That address I am storing in MIR. That is MIR in. I have written MIR in. So, address is containing MIR register, then here through the memory bus, the address is sending through memory, so memory is reading that data, so read control signal I issue, reading the data. So, it, reading will take some uh, time, assume that it will take some time. So, in between another operation I am doing, I am going to increment this program counter. So, why should I increment the program counter? So, next instruction is stored in next address of the next instruction is stored in program counter so i should increment the program counter so to increment the program counter in 32 bit address system we are incrementing by 4 so select 4 so where i am selecting 4 in the multiplexer two input is there 4 and y so i am selecting 4 here that 4 will come here in a and pc content will come to b so add pc content with 4 so result is stored in z then that result will store in PC. So, like that, I can increment the PC. So, select for add result is storing in insert register and insert out will store again in PC in. Now, PC incremented. 
Now, what is WM of C? That is called waiting for memory function complete. So, memory function complete is a, a signal from the memory. Then, what operation we are doing here? Read operation we are reading. So, what we are reading? Our instruction we are reading from the memory. So, when this reading operation is completed, memory will set this memory function complete signal. So, we are waiting for that signal that is WM of C. So, when this reading operation completed, this instruction, our instruction from the memory will store in data register. So, here through the memory bus, our instruction will come to data register. From the data register, it will store in instruction register. So, currently executing instruction store in instruction register that is MDR out, IR in. Now, what happened when we are executing this instruction, what we should do next? fetch the first operand from the memory. So, what is first operand? R3 is a pointer. It contains 1000. That 1000 address location contains some data. We already seen that 1000 address location contains some data. So, that data we have to fetch. So, what we should do? R3 out. That is 1000. That address we are storing in MAR register. So, here our R3 comes from this R3. That address is storing in MAR register. From the MAR, that address is sending to memory through the memory bus and data is reading and that is what I issued a read control signal here and we are waiting to read operation to complete when the read operation is completing the data will come in come in MDR register that MDR data we are taking out and that will store in Y register temporarily in between one operation is happening we need the second operand R1 so R1 out that is a processor register it is here R1 register and uh, this R1 data we are storing in Y register temporarily, Y in, that's what I have written here, Y in. So, R1 data from here I stored in Y register. So, R3 data out, MAR in, reading operation, waiting for memory function to complete. When the memory function complete, MDR out, data will come to MDR register. So, first operand is available in MDR second operand is available in y register so we should add here so from y register through the multiplexer the second operand comes here first operand from mdr it comes in point b so we are adding these two that is add and z in result is storing in z register from the z register it will store in r1 that is our r1 register result is storing in r1 a register so always understand some basic concept whenever we are getting some address pc contain an address now in our example r3 contain an address whenever we are getting an address our address will store in mar register so from the mar register we will decide what we want to do we want to do read or write in our example first we are reading our instruction second we are reading our first opera that is fetch the instruction and the fetch the first opera so, uh, the first operand R3 that comes from the main memory, it comes to MDI register. Second operand R1 that is available here that we are taking to Y register. So, from the Y it will come to point B. From the MDR, the second operand come to B and they are adding the two numbers. The result is storing in Z. From the Z, we are storing it to R1 register. So, hope all of you understand this topic. Thank you so much for watching.